Yo, what up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. Hopefully nobody threw a pickle at you today. Uh, that, that would suck, man. My sincerest condolences if you have been the victim of a pickle assault today. Uh, you can comment down below if that has happened to you. Either which way, yesterday was Easter. Hope you guys had a fantastic Easter. Anyway, since yesterday was Easter and all, and Easter got me thinking about, like, bunnies and stuff, got me thinking about animals in general, I remembered our favorite animal rights activist, that vegan teacher, aka the fossil that was preserved for the sole purpose of lecturing Minecraft YouTubers about veganism over the means of TikTok. And dude, at this point, I have a crazy theory that that vegan teacher might actually be a character, or that this whole veganism thing and this whole, like, TikTok account is like a troll account or like a bait account. Because bro, the things that she says is just not something that a normal person that is trying to promote veganism would say. If you guys don't know, this woman has a history of duetting Minecraft YouTubers on TikTok for literally no reason other than to blame them or try to convert them to veganism. The classic example that I like to go to is when George Not Found posted a TikTok of him walking in the snow and he said, hey TikTok, I'm looking to get some likes on this video. Can you guys like this video? And that vegan teacher decided to stitch this video by saying, George, 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 you see, you're not vegan, so I don't like you. Which this whole thing is more morbidly ironic because I think this woman is in her uh, 50s or 60s and she demonstrates the maturity level of a 10 year old. Wait, you not a vegan? <laughs> I don't like you. Anyways, I only talked about that vegan teacher twice on this channel, but if you've watched any other commentator in the past two months, you've seen her shenanigans. Her entire account got so out of control that TikTok themselves had to step in and be like, yo, cut it out, so they banned her. But she's back on this other account and I think like a month ago or so, something, she roasted Dream, and I never got to talk about it, and Dream seems to be the biggest keyword that gets views. And because I like views, and because that vegan teacher doesn't fail to make a fool of herself, let's watch some TikToks where uh, that vegan teacher, for some reason, is talking about Dream. Yes, God. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, it's been up for two days, and I have, I don't know, 280, 61 followers. Oh, you know what? The kids are here now. I, I gotta teach a class. Okay, okay, call me tomorrow. We'll see if the account's still up. Okay, thank you, bye! Okay, first of all, this video is 57 minutes long, Jesus. Listen, lady, respectfully, I think you're at that point in your life where you want to be treasuring every single minute you have. And look, dude, I'm not trying to be ageist or anything, okay? I'm not like that. Uh, old people, if you watch me, shout out to you. But for real, dude, who has 57 minutes of their day to just sit down and... and <laughs> and make a YouTube video. Like, the entire video to be 57 minutes long. That's crazy. Also, why does she start off the video literally communicating with a fruit? Like, I get the whole using the banana as your phone bit, like, hilarious, I guess. But going back to what I said at the start about this woman being very immature, uh, this just kind of furthers my point. Because when's the last time you've held a banana into your ear in order to communicate that you're uh, pretending to talk to somebody? Bro, I don't think I've used the banana phone in, like, like 12 years like I don't know man maybe just me but I, I don't think that is a relevant way to communicate points anyways this uh, video like I said earlier is super duper long so I'm gonna kind of skip ahead a little bit so we can get to the parts where she's actually talking about dream apparently it belongs or it's associated with some guy named dream but I don't know if he drew it himself and he put it on there or if it was already circulating and he just thought oh that's cute and he used it but apparently it's associated with him and he has like something like five million followers or i'm not exactly sure what and i'm not sure what's so great about this guy and i didn't even know if it was a guy or girl because apparently this person never shows their face but everyone on tiktok saying no he's obviously a guy and i'm like okay anyway so i've been using this little dude now to me he just looks like a little penis, a penis that was circumcised, and that's not right. Uh, 
pause? Okay, we're gonna actually have to literally slam the pause button right now. Look, dude, I've thought a lot of things about Dream, okay? I I've critiqued even his avatar for being too simple or whatever, but never, never in my life have I looked at that thing and seen a penis. I'm sorry, that digging teacher, I don't know what kind of penises you're seeing. That is none of my business. I will never want to know, but you need a lot of help. And then after that, for a reason unknown to God or anybody on earth for that matter, she goes on to a 10 second rant on the morality of circumcision. And I've noticed this a lot with that vegan teacher where she will be reacting to something or talking about something, but then while talking about that thing she thinks of or mentions another thing that she disagrees with and then proceeds to go on a minute long rant about why that thing she disagrees with is the worst thing in the world. Like I can imagine talking to that vegan teacher about her favorite sport. Like, hey, that vegan teacher, what's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is cricket. I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, my favorite sport is football. And she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Your favorite sport is football? You know they use pig skin to make the football, right? Uh, oh my god, that's animal cruelty! And then she goes on to a two hour long rant, quote unquote, educating me about why you cannot kill pigs. Basically, I'm just trying to do anything at all to get these people who play these video games to pay attention to the vegan message because it's that part is serious these young people need to know what's going on in the world and what's going on with the animals no they don't they have no responsibility to know what's happening with the animals okay these minecraft youtubers or anybody for that matter has literally no responsibility to listen to your message about veganism and they don't have to become vegan you know they don't have to do anything just like how you don't have to fly over to china and rescue all the children that are being exploited in factories and sweatshops i dream about a world where there's no more racism or homophobia or any prejudice at all. What kind of a world do you want? I dream about a world where there is no more cruelty to humans or animals. So that is my voice and it is put through a filter and it's called, I forget now, tenor or something. There's like one that's chipmunk and then there's one that's a bit lower. So I, when, when my voice is put lower, I basically sound like, some dude that's slightly effeminate, let's say. Let me get this straight. So she is trying to promote veganism and end racism and end homophobia and make the world overall the most peaceful place on earth. And she's doing this while trying to pander to children by using the dream sticker on TikTok by saying, I have a dream. Which honestly, I think is a great marketing campaign. I think the kids are going to love that. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why anyone would at all question the fact that you are trying to use a child-friendly Minecraft YouTuber to promote your radical vegan agenda. No, 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 nobody's gonna have a problem with that. Anyways, I think that's where we wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed or agreed with anything I said, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're at all new to the channel. Comment down vegan lol if you have made it to the end of this video and I will try to heart your comments. Follow me over on my social medias and join the Discord server. Links all in the description below. And finally, special thanks to my channel members for your continued support. It really helps me out to make the content that I want to make. But yeah, with that being said, see you guys all in the next one. Peace.